trying to go even better as the competitors receive their medals over 1500 meters under 17 girls well, those are yeah dahlia fear whether the winner there the jamaicans finishing one two now the under 17 boys step forward two medals for jamaica one for aruba shocking development in this one the defending champion Demetra Myers of Belize finishing in fifth position. Maybe we'll get a word on what exactly happened there. He'll have the 5,000 to come as the 3,000 apologists to come as well later in the championship. So we'll watch closely to see how he performs as we stand by for the next attempt for Brendan Vanderpool in the pole vault. We are seeing something really special here at the Carifta Games. And we have an early candidate for the Austin Seeley Award. Just based off the 5.30 that Vanderpool has delivered already. And uh, he's attempting to go clear at 5.49 meters. The officials setting the bar. There is confirmation of the top three in the under-17 boys. 1,500 meters. Green, the champion. Sakani Brown, the bronze medalist. The Jamaicans, Wendell Bade of Aruba taking silver. Bade was courageous. He was brave. He took it out hard. He took the challenge to the rest of the field. And although he was passed by Shamar Green, he can be tremendously proud of himself for the way he attacked that 1500 final. And each of the medalists you see receiving a replica of the game's mascot, Welsey. Named after Grenada's Dove Leptuela Welsi, the mascot of Carifta uh, 2024. 1500 meters under 20 girls. Katie Ford, Trinidad and Tobago, 441.71. She has another year left at the Carifta Games. Johnson led most of the way from Jamaica, 432.49. And your champion, also from Jamaica, 431.94, Rakisha Sims. The Jamaican sweeping the 1500 finals. In fact, winning two medals in all four categories.